All right, man, Torture Talk. Good afternoon, 12 o'clock show. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling out there, man? How y'all feeling? I hope y'all feeling good. I hope y'all had a good morning's rest. You know what I'm saying? If y'all off work, hope y'all uh slept in. You know what I mean? And if you're up now, get your ass some orange juice or some water. You know what I'm saying? And put on your shoes. Brush your teeth, man. Brush your teeth. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Look, man, so today episode i'm going to be talking about kendrick lamar has just announced a tour and is this tour going to be after you know the super bowl and it's going to continue or it's going to go right into the super bowl we don't know you know and um we're going to see now there is a tour that drake did uh, are these called uh, all a blur or what's a blur or something like that and it has surpassed the, the, the big steppers tour so I think Kendrick Lamar is kind of like showing Drake that, okay, yeah, now I'm, I'm going to go on tour and it's going to be bigger than your last tour. And I believe that that's what's going to happen. So before I get into that, hey, man, this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, if you're new here, let me work for your subscriptions today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. And if you want to donate, Links on the screen, Cash App, PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 1,300 subscribers to over, to over, to over. You know, I fucked up there, but I'm going to keep it going. To over 11,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And let me know where you're from, man. You know what I mean? I really appreciate that. So look, man, we going to get it. Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. So let's get it, man. This comes from Fantastic Hip Hop. We're going to watch this clip. Of course, we're going to give our commentary. Let's go. Now, somehow, even after everything we've already seen, we have gotten another Kendrick Lamar related announcement that is just raising the bar all over again. As most recently, we have gotten reports from some of the most credible sources the entire entertainment industry has to offer about what is next for Kendrick Lamar and specifically what we are going to see from him in terms of a tour. And now with this announcement and the timing of it, as it was just reported that Drake's It's a Blur tour became the highest grossing tour in hip hop history over Kendrick Lamar's Big Steppers tour after its second leg's revenue was reported. It really seems like Kendrick and his camp may have leaked this new information purposefully because as this was seemingly the only major record and semi-victory that Drake has had reported pretty much this entire year. Once again, Kendrick has found the most fitting way to stomp on another one of his biggest rivals records and this time- I wonder how much was, uh, how much was that tour over Kendrick's? Because the Big Stepper tour they're saying was the biggest, and then Drake released, he's saying that Drake released second stream numbers, and it passed it. So I wonder how much it was. Was it 50 million? Was it 100 million? Was it 50,000? Was it $2? What was it? So I gotta understand. I gotta find that out. Let's keep it going. I'm around. Kendrick has really outdone himself because with what we know about this tour already, it is setting itself up to go down in history as one of the biggest tours hip hop has ever seen and one of the biggest in all of modern music. And now in order to find out why, let's take a look at the report that has come out about this, which is from Bloomberg, which when it comes to important entertainment related news, off rip, this publication would not be reporting on this if they didn't have a credible source telling them this information. So I would say that this report is rooted in some sort of strong sense of truth. And now the way this came out, it was because the major publication was reporting on the trouble centered around Coachella 2025, which just to give some context on the absolute disastrous state that Coachella is in. After a 2023, which was an absolute horror show, as the festival lost money because Frank Ocean did the worst thing one of the most anticipated headliners in festival history could ever do, which was to back out. And then in 2024, despite one of the best sets in years from Tyler the Creator, the rest of the lineup around him really lacked the star power and performance ability that has made Coachella the marquee and premier event in music. And now because of this, what the point of this article is and what it's telling us is that Coachella is swinging for the fence. Yeah, I wonder why. Why did Frank Ocean back out? I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me in a comment. But some of these artists, I'm not going to lie. Some of these artists get a lot of credit and they doesn't really, they don't really do much work. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by much work, I'm talking like they don't really, they're not really active like that. Now, don't get me wrong. Frank Ocean does have some good music. 
But at the same time, I mean, like, I don't know. I really don't even know what to say about Frank Ocean sometimes because I'm just, I be so disappointed in him sometimes. Cause sometimes I think some of the decisions he make, I just, I'm like, man, come on, man this year as they are seemingly asking the biggest acts in the entire industry to perform at the festival and now first up they asked none other than rihanna who declined this which makes sense as she does not really seem to be focused on music as a whole anymore and in addition to rihanna and who they were really banging on to get for this festival was kendrick lamar but now with kendrick he also declined and not just because he feels like he's bigger than the show or because he is better than doing a music festival at this point in his career but actually because it is reported that he has a tour lined up and not just any type of tour as the article directly says. Both passed according to several people familiar with the matter. Lamar is scheduled to perform at the 2025 Super Bowl and then plans a tour of major stadiums. Rihanna ahead of a growing business empire didn't need the money or the exposure. And now with this piece of information, if this is true, this is genuinely insane because Kendrick Lamar will not be playing at arenas like he has on his past tours for the last decade, but he is going to be playing stadiums, which just for reference, these are the types of size differences in these venues and everyone in the music business knows when it comes to touring, things do not get any bigger and more important than stadiums for artists. And now when we look at the significance of this, bro, if this is true, after he do the Super Bowl and he continue from there and do other stadium shows, man, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's only other, it's, for me, there's only one other, per, I actually seen Weekend. I don't know if you haven't been to a Weekend show, I'm letting y'all know now. One of the greatest shows ever. I'm telling you. You ain't never seen nothing like it. It's unbelievable. So it's it's like a living art. Like the weekend shows be like, he just does like this. I don't know what he he just he has a different mind when it comes to shows. Anyway, so with this whole thing with with Kendrick and his stadium thing, yeah. After the Super Bowl, that's a genius move. That's that's such a smart move. I don't think people have put into perspective just how important it is that Kendrick will be doing a stadium tour because just off the bat, when we look at the current state of the entire music industry, handling crowds of nearly 100,000 people and having the catalog to perform in one of the biggest spaces an artist ever can is something that few people in the entire business could even pull off if they tried. As even when we look at somebody like Drake, even with all of his major tours, which have been joint efforts with the likes of people like Lil Wayne, J. Cole, The Migos, and 21 Savage over the years, he has never even attempted to enter the biggest realm an artist can be in. And when it comes to names who handle their own stadium tours in the current music industry, the list is very short, as the only artists who have successful full-on stadium runs are The Weeknd, Beyonce, and Taylor Swift, which is truly a lead company, and now even in the entire lineage of hip-hop. While Travis Scott is selling out massive crowds in Europe, and is playing in stadiums in select markets in the US like he did with SoFi Stadium in LA, and like he will soon be doing at MetLife Stadium in the New York area. The only other recent stadium-related event in hip-hop between rappers was when Kanye and Drake had a joint concert in LA, and beyond this, there is no rapper who has ever done a solo tour throughout stadiums in the entire United States, as when we look at the history of rappers even playing in stadiums. The only times we have seen MCs hit the road and full-on play these massive venues was when Eminem did a joint tour with Rihanna in 2014, and when Jay-Z and Beyonce did their On The Run Parts 1 and 2 tour series in 2014 and 2019 respectively. And also, Jay-Z did a joint tour with Justin Timberlake in 2013. So understanding the context of this, and literally seeing that even with arguably the biggest rappers of all time in Jay-Z and Eminem, that they both needed joint tours to do this, with Kendrick Lamar on the verge of pulling something off that no other rapper in the over 50 year history of hip hop has ever done. I think it's safe to say that this will without a doubt become the biggest tour we ever see in hip hop history, and beyond this, the most commanding and powerful display of dominance we see from an MC. Because with every- Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't really, I, I, I knew that Drake never did a stadium. And I think a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that Drake never did a stadium. I think with Kanye and that was it. But a lot of people don't know that. And I, I, that goes right back to what The Weeknd said on the, the new song he had with uh, Playboy Cardi. You know what I'm saying? It's going to hurt because we did it first.
know what I'm saying? Pull up the sky, pull up the dome. It's going to hurt because we did it first. Yeah, it's crazy. Every rapper in the history of hip hop from Prime Jay-Z, Eminem, 50 Cent, Kanye West, and countless others. Nobody has ever been able to reach this pinnacle of live performance that Kendrick Lamar will be showing us very soon. And now with Kendrick, considering the momentum and popularity he will have and what the Super Bowl stimulus package will do to boost his profile and his brand, and I am sure based on the way he does things, he will really see the ultimate return from the Super Bowl as he will end up probably having one of the most excited and beloved Super Bowl halftime shows ever. All of these factors are going to raise his popularity to a level that we have never seen. And as a result, the demand to see him will be at an all time high. And now with Kendrick Lamar preparing an entire tour and with the article saying that this series of shows will be happening after he does the Super Bowl and knowing that he declined Coachella because of this. We now also seemingly have confirmation that Kendrick Lamar will go on the road starting this spring and will be on tour this summer. And now as all artists release what their newest album is, usually a few months or even weeks before the tour, this information now gives us an even better idea of when this new Kendrick Lamar album that we all can't wait to listen to will actually come out. As now, based on this timeline of events, it only makes sense for this project to come out in between the winter when the Super Bowl is, and during the spring before this tour, which means that this album should be releasing anytime between February or March of 2025. And now knowing this tour is coming and understanding the momentum the Super Bowl brings to an artist, I am going to lock in this prediction that we will end up getting a single on Super Bowl weekend followed by an album shortly after that in the coming weeks and now with all of this. The fact that Kendrick Lamar's generational run and claim to rap dominance has only raised its stakes even more as now right after the greatest performance in battle ever, also possibly becoming the first rapper to sweep the Grammys with diss songs, then doing the Super Bowl halftime show right after that, and then releasing one of the most anticipated albums in all of hip hop history. Somehow, after breaking record after record, if Kendrick is going to celebrate what really may be the most powerful run we have ever seen from a rapper by playing in stadiums around the United States and probably the entire world, the heights and expectations of where all of this is going have only raised higher and now at this point, I hope no other rapper has even thought that they will be able to rival Kendrick for months and maybe even years to come because the way it stands right now and with the way everything is shaping out to be, Kendrick is not just by far the biggest rapper in the world, but he is really on the path to having one of the most dominant years any artist has this century in 2025, as the power and pull Kendrick has over the people has not just made him the face of rap. But based on everything he has lined up, if he plays his cards right, he will become the face of music for the time being. So now with all of this said, let me know, what do you think of this Kendrick Lamar news and how excited are you for the chance to see him live in the near future? Now I- Yeah, man. And with all that said, let me know. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, fantastic hip hop. Always got some good stuff. Yeah, so that's the question of the day. I mean, let me know in the comments. And that's how I know if you watch the whole video. <laughs> is Kendrick the face of hip hop? Is Kendrick the face of hip hop? Is he the face of hip hop right now? And. Or is he the face of music right now? I'm going to say the face of hip hop. I don't know why I said the face of music, but is he the face of hip hop right now? Is he the guy? You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to get a ticket to go to that that tour. If I could, I'm going. And I'm going to film some of it. I'm going to bring it back to y'all, share it with y'all. Trust and believe. Um, that's happening. That's happening. I'm going. I'm going to go to one of those concerts, one of those tours in the stadium. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it is what it is. So thank y'all for watching, man. I really appreciate y'all. I just want to say shout out to everybody that's been commenting, man. And keeping me right. If y'all don't like something I say, y'all get in the comments and y'all don't be disrespectful about it. Y'all just say, hey, man, I disagree with your take. And I really appreciate that because I like when people disagree because I could get in the comments with them and say, well, why do you disagree? You know what I'm saying? Or some people, they disagree before I even get to the comments. And then I get on there and I say, oh, okay. It gave me a good reason. I said, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. That was a really good reason. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all, man. I really do. And um, yeah, man, keep coming over here. Keep going with some good content over here. It's always going to be good content. And um, yeah, I know I look a little rough. But it is what it is, man. That gray got to go.
just for men. Anybody know any suggestions? You know, somebody said, hey, I think that that's cute on you. I like it. Nah, nah, nah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Got to get this, got to get this joint out of here. So, but hey, man, y'all have yourself a good afternoon, man. Six o'clock show coming up. I love y'all, man. See y'all be well. <laughs>